welcome or welcome back to a game of fangs and thorns my name's hannah and this pile of books is what i'm going to talk to you about today so i am primarily a fantasy reader so with fantasy comes series and i tend to prefer series over standalone anyway but that means i start a lot of series and forget about them so this video is a reference for me about how many series I've started or I'm in the middle of or have caught up to just waiting for the author to bring out the new book announce the sequel that kind of thing and this isn't a comprehensive list I don't think there'll be some that I've missed uh, but you can see by the gaps in the shelves I have raided my bookshelves for this. Now this doesn't include the books that I have bought that are first in series but haven't read. These are just mainly the books that I have read that I know are part of a series. So I think that's enough explanation. I'm just going to dive right in. So first of all we have The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemison. Uh, this is the first in the Broken Earth trilogy. I own the second book, The Obelisk Gate, and I don't have the third one, but the third one is out. We'll catch that pile. So, yep. Um, I'm not going to tell you what these are about, just because this video is going to be long enough already. And then we have Hannah Whitten's uh, For the Wolf. This is the first in the Wilderwood, um, I think it's going to be a series. The first book, the second book, sorry, is going to be called Up for the Throne. I don't think it's been released yet, so I'm caught up, which is a nice feeling. Uh, we have Bridgerton, The Duke and I, which is book one of the Bridgerton series. I have the first two, so The Duke and I and The Viscount Who Loved Me. I've read both of these. I don't own the rest, but we'll, get to, we'll buy them at some point. Uh, we have the Extinction Trials. This is the first in the Extinction Trials trilogy with the sequel by, uh, by S.M. Wilson. This is by Julia Quinn, if I didn't mention that. Uh, but this is the Extinction Trials by S.M. Wilson, a trilogy. I have the first. I have t the first two. Read this one. I haven't read Exile, which is the sequel. And I can't remember what the third one's called. Because I kind of just picked these up on a whim. Uh, Rebel. So I need to get that one. Uh, then we have Rivers of London by Ben Aronovich. I've read the first five, I want to say. And then I have books six and eight. I don't know what happened, but I've read a few of those and have one, and I'm missing one, so I'll probably buy, need to buy that before I continue. Uh, we have Tidelands by Philbert Gregory, which is the first in the Fair Miles series. This is one I am fully caught up on because this includes Tidelands and Dark Tides. The third book has a, has a title, but nothing else yet. Uh, then we have The Night Watch by Sergei Lukianenko. This started off as a trilogy and now I think there's about six or seven books in it. I have the I've read this one and I have the sequel, but I haven't read that yet. Uh, then we have Havenfall by Sarah Holland. I have the first two, read the first two. I don't think the third one is out yet. Uh, Every Heart a Doorway by Sharon and Maguire, which is the first in the Elna West's Home for Wayward we Children series. I have the first three, and I have read the first three, and I think there's about seven or eight out, but these are fairly short, so it won't take long to read them when I get them. Uh, we have a book that's alive, Grave by Tracy Wolfe. I have the first book. The, I think we're on book four now. Though. I need to catch up on. 
Ace of Shades by Amanda Foody. This is a completed trilogy, um, but I only have the first one. A Court of Thorns and Roses. I've read up to A Court of Frost and Starlight. I don't own the next one, with, um, the title of which has just escaped my mind, but yeah. I have that one by Sarah J. Mass, in case you did, couldn't tell. I have The Aurora Cycle, which is a trilogy by J. Christoph and Amy Kaufman. I've read the first two and don't own the third one. I have Mortal Engines by Philip Reeve, the first in the Mortal Engines Quartet. I only own this one. I'm going to get buried by this by the stack, I can tell now. Um I think this is I think this has a sequel. Uh but it is Hexed by Juliet Huffs. I haven't read it yet. I haven't read the sequel. I haven't even confirmed if it's a sequel, but I think it is. And this will go on the list if it is. I'll put it there to remind me to search later. Uh we have Poison Study, or uh, the first in the study series, or The Chronicles of Ixia by Maria V. Schneider. I've read up to the... well, these are three separate trilogies within the world. So there's nine books in total. I've read up to book seven, but I own all of them. I'm going to go through this pile so it doesn't fall on us. Uh, we have A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab, and... Vicious by V.E. Schwab. This is a trilogy. I've read the first one. This is currently a duology, but I know, but I do think she's bringing out a third. I've only read this one. Uh, we have Skyward by Brandon Sanderson and The Final Empire. Uh, this is Mistborn. I've read the first uh, Mistborn Era 1. I've read the first two. I own the third one. Uh, this is Skyward, um, in the Sky, I think it's called the Skyward series. I've read the first two and don't own the novella collection or the third book, but that will be rectified soon, hopefully. Uh, we have The Mirror Visitor by Christelle Dabour, translated by Hildegard Searle. I have the first three and I've read the first three. I'm just waiting for the fourth one to come out in paperback or I might just get it on my Kindle. Uh, we have another V. We have Victoria Schwab, which is V.E. Schwab's middle grade. And that is City of Ghosts. I only have the first one, but I will be continuing. Uh, Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne-Jones. I only own the first one. We'll be continuing. I think there's four in that one. There's three in City of um, Casty Blake, Victoria Schwab's series. I think there's three. Uh, I have The Land of Raw by Jenny McLachlan. I think there's three. I only own the first one. But bear in mind, all of these have been read. Uh, we have Nevermore, The Trials of Morrigan Crow by Jessica Townsend. I own all three. I've read the first two. My mum's beating me on that one because she's read, the first. She's read all three. And she loves it. Uh, we'll do... More paperbacks, I think. We have Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. Obviously, the sequel to this has just been announced. It's called Hellbent. And I caught up with it because it's certain months and don't out yet. Um, we have Alona Andrews' Iron and Magic, which is the first book in the Iron Covenant series. Uh, but it does have a tie in to her to their other books, which is right. Technically, this book is a spin off from the Kate Daniel series uh, by the same author, which I haven't read, but I'm counting this as the start. And I found the first book of that extended universe, so that that's the only book I have from that author, but her their books kind of have an extended universe. And then we have what is this kind what is this actual sequel actually 
uh, also trilogies. There we go. Um, by Deborah Harkness and Discovery of Witches. I've read this one. I own the sequel. I haven't read it yet. Um, same story with The Born Season by Samantha Shannon. Um, I've read this one and the prequel because it's included. I own the second book, but haven't read it. I'm gonna have to get buried here. Uh, the Summoner by Perrin Mathru. I own the three. I've only read the first one. Gilded Ones by Namina Fauna. Now, the sequel to this is called The Merciless Ones and it has only just came out. I don't own it, but I've read the first one and I will be continuing. Uh, Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb, the first book one of the Farseer trilogy, but also book one of the Realm of the Elderlings multi verse extended universe type stories that she has. I only have the first one, but we'll be but we'll be continuing. Uh, All Our Hidden Gifts by Caroline O'Donoghue. Sequel to this one is called Gifts That Bind Us, and I own it. But I haven't read it yet. Uh, Ship of Shadows by Maria Maria Krisnia. I own the sequel. I haven't read it. Ah, uh, Highland Falcon Thief by M. G. Leonard and Sam Sedgman. First in the Adventures on Trains series. I only have the first one, but I will. But um, yeah, this is. I should have. Split this up even more, I think. Oh, never mind. Uh, we have book one of House of Secrets by Chris Columbus and Ned Vizzini. Uh, this is a trilogy. And I will be continuing when I find it. The good thing about Kindle is I can have all these series on the go and it won't take up much space. Um, I do have one Poirot book, Death on the Nile. And while these can be read in any order, I will be picking them up when I see them. I only have that one. Uh, we have The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I believe there's a, this is currently a trilogy. I own and have read the first two. Uh, Red Rising by Pierce Brown. I own... Old Sky. I'm looking over there because that's where they are. One, five. Yeah, I own all five. I've read the first one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just have Iron Age or Dark Age, whatever it's called, to read. Uh, it probably won't end on five because that's a bit of a weird number. Uh, then we have The Outlaws, Scarlet and Brown by Jonathan Stroud. This is the first in a duology at the moment, I believe. The f second book only came out, as I'm filming this, it came out on the, yesterday, which was the 7th of July. So I'll probably get to that at some point. Uh, and we have The Wolf Den by Elodie Harper. Currently, this is the only one out, I believe. But it is the first of a planned trilogy. Unless the second one's already out and it's called Good House of the Golden Door. Either way, this is a trilogy. I only have the first one. Uh, we have Murder Most Unladylike. This is a... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 book series. And I think there is a collection of short stories. I only have this one because I picked it up on a whim. I've obviously read it. Uh, we have... This is obviously... The start of the expansive Shadowhunters world. I've read most of these. I just have the second Eldest Curses book to read. Uh, Chain of Thorns isn't out yet, but obviously I have, I'll read that when I can. And I still have T Ghost Market, Ghost Market one to read, which are short stories. So yeah, I don't know when this is going to finish, but I will keep reading it. Uh, we have You by Caroline Kepnes. I own all three. I've read the first two. 
Uh, we have. Uh, I saw that. We'll grab another one, I think. <laughs> we have the first books in the Adrian and Isolde and Hades and Persephone books by Scarlett Sinclair. I have the first two of these ones. I've read one. The second one is just off corner here on my TBR cart. And this is the first book of King of Rat and Blood. The second one has been announced. Um, but it's not out yet. So I'm caught up on at least one. That's good. Uh, we have the Dark Tower series by Stephen King. First one being Gunslinger. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight book series. I only have this one. Uh, we have in Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. I have all four. I've only read this one. We haven't even got to the most of the fairy loot books because they are serious. Uh, we have the Goddess Summoning series by Casey Cass. Technically, these are companion novels. Um, but I have all of them now, I believe. And I only have two left to read uh, by PC Cast, if I didn't mention it. I have The Name of the Wind by Patrick, Patrick Rothfuss. I have the sequel, The Wise Man's Fear, on Kindle somewhere. Uh, but I only read this one yet. And I know the slow regard, the slow regard of silent things as a novella. So I have to read that one as well and hopefully it comes out with the third one. Uh, and we have Only a Monster by Vanessa Lynn. Uh, this is a planned series, but the first one is the only, is the only one out. That stack is going to go and fall on me, I can tell. Uh, Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lim. I believe the sequel is out or will be out soon but i don't own it yet uh the unbroken by cl clark this is the first in the magic of the lost series but i don't know when the second book is out or if it has even been announced yet but yeah we are getting there i promise uh, we have the Ravens by Cass Morgan and Danielle Page. The sequel to this and the conclusion, I believe, is called The Monarchs. It's out. I don't own it. Uh, the Richard Osman's The Thursday Murder Club. There are three books in this series, I believe. I don't know if the third one's out yet. But I've got the first two. Read this one. Haven't read the second one. Uh, this one is Our Violent Delight. By Chloe Gong. This is a duology. I have the first book and read, obviously. That's why it's here. I haven't read the second one, but I do own it. Uh, this is another book of stories. Uh, Forest of Souls, book one of the Shaman Born series. The second book is Broken Web. It is out. I don't own it. There's a theme going on here, isn't there? Uh, then we have House of Sky, House of Earth and Blood by, again, Sarah J. Mass, first book of the Crescent City series. I've read this one. I own House of Sky and Breath. I just haven't read it yet. Uh, we have Witches Crowned in Gold, Steeped in Gold by Sian and Smart. Sequel is Empress in something, Empress in Red. Because I don't know the title, I guess you know where this one's going. I've read this, I don't own the sequel. Uh, Master of One by Jada Jones and Danny Bennett. This is the first in the series, I believe, um, because of how it ended. But I haven't heard anything about any subsequent books. Uh, we have... Prison Healer by Lynette Noni. I 
Yeah, got that right. I have the first two books and have read them. I don't think the third book is out yet, but I could be wrong. It's something we call Blood Traitor, maybe. Uh, Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Muir. I've read this. I've read Harrow the Ninth, and I'm eagerly awaiting Nona the Ninth. I think that's what it's called anyway. We have Kingdom of the Wicked by Kerry Maniscalco. I've read this one. I own Kingdom of the Cursed. I haven't read that. And I believe Kingdom... What's the next one called? I'm sure it's been out. But anyway, I only have two. And read half. Uh, we have A Dark and Hollow Star by Ashley Shuttleworth. Read this can't remember what the second one's called but I am looking forward to it I will read it when I see it uh, probably be a kindle job again uh, Seven Devils by Elizabeth May and Laura Lamb I honestly forgot that this was this was the start of a series because I believe the sequel is called Seven Rebels and I think it's already out because I saw it in Forbidden Planet but I didn't pick it up uh, but I will be picking it up at some point because I did enjoy that. And then finally, unless I've missed any, which I hope not, is Empire of a Vampire by J. Christoph. So, again, that's a series, but the first one's only just come out. So I'm just waiting impatiently for the next one. Let me know in the comments down below if you think there's any of these that I should, any of these series that I should prioritise over others. Um, and yeah, I guess that's it for this video. I need to stop reading series, I think, or at least concentrate on finishing them before starting another one. There's at least, a, there's at least three or four new series on the TBR card. That's gonna take me a while. But as always that's it for the end for this video. Give me a like if you liked it and hit that subscribe button if you want to see this. And don't forget these and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.